Hello YouTube, this is ID Gnome. I'm bringing you another episode of Advanced Redstone Circuits. So last time, uh, a couple days ago, I showed you guys how to make RAM, and today I promised I was going to show you guys how to uh, make a decoder so you can actually use that RAM, address it, stuff like that. Um, now I decided I'm going to use this one uh, to decode it because, you know, to decode two, uh, because it's bigger and it's easier to show on a bigger system than it is more compact. So. Um, either of the RAM cells will work. Um, there is one difference that you'll need to keep in mind, and that is that with the smaller RAM that I showed you, you'll actually need to uh, clock the uh, reset and the set at the exact same time. Or, you know, the reset first and then the set right away. Um, because that way you don't have overlapping data, you don't want that to happen. So, um, Alright, so first off, how does a decoder work? Uh, well, first you have each each line of a decoder, each bit, has two pieces of, um, I guess, inputs, two inputs, or two states. So there is an on state and an off state. Um, the easiest way to do that is to use two different lines, with one of the lines being inverted, like this. Um, let's go ahead and just build a quick one right here. I won't be using this design right here because it's kind of... Uh, I'm not a fan of it. So, all right. I'll just do a quick, I guess, one bit one. Um, and then if you have two lines underneath, like this, one of those lines is going to be, you know, set as a state at any given time. So, what we do here is we put a torch here, and when you power this line right here, you get that. This is, in essence, the most basic decoder you can really make. Um, the one I'm going to be doing is a little bit different. It's going to use... it's, it's, it's much smaller than this. Um, I mean, this one gets pretty big when you have more, you know, a higher bit size, or, you know, bus size. Um, Alright, the more the more addresses that you have, the bigger it gets, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So, since we're only doing uh, six bits of addresses here, I'm only going to do a uh, three-bit uh, decoder. So let's go ahead and start that. And we've got... Alright, so each line is going to use a single line, and these lines are going to be set up like this. Okay, You need to have a line underneath leading into where you want it to be, and a line... Let's go ahead and do this... Uh, how do we want to do this? I guess another line up here like this. No, 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 we don't want to do that. There, actually. There we go. Like this and this. So, um, I'll explain this in just a moment. Uh, basically, what I'm doing is I am creating a clock line. And I am also creating the actual lines that are used between these ones right here. So, um, if you know binary logic, you know that, uh, or not logic, but you know the binary counting system is uh, essentially how this works. So, you've got. You know what? Before I explain it, let me go ahead and just uh, stack this. And we will uh, be on our way. Uh, position 2. Stack this 6 times. 5 times. Again. Okay. So we have um, the clock line, which 
whenever I want the system to uh, clock a specific location, you press this, and it'll uh, power, you know, it'll unpower that. Um, now, obviously right now it's not going to work because there's no information going into it, but if we want to uh, do that, all we have to go is do this. So this is the first bit, second bit, third bit, so one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, this is cool. I mean, this is this is part of the way. So, um, if you'll recall earlier, I said that each decoder has two states. Um, with torches, you would need to use two different lines, invert one of the lines. Uh, recently, people have come up with more clever ways to do it, and this is how you do it right here. Put a line like this, and then a repeater on all of the off states. So um, we don't want any of the addresses to be the first address or the uh, the zero address. So they were all automatically going to be powered, but we do this when you clock it none of them happen, but if you turn on the first line, like this, the first address happens. So let me go ahead and uh, program in the second one, and actually, uh, since you guys know exactly how it works, I'm going to go ahead and just do it quickly, and uh, do this, copy and paste, and I will use... a special command called power tool and this is actually really cool um, you are able to set it uh, to do commands whenever you're whenever you use a tool so I have it set to paste without error where I'm standing so so it just kind of does all the work for me so that's a clever trick that uh, I found a while ago for anyone that's interested so there we go Okay, and if you notice what I'm doing is I'm just basically putting these on all the places that do not have torches. Um, so, and I'm going to make sure that this reaches, because it'd be silly for us to do this without having it reach. So, uh, first one. <laughs> okay. And I think this one should reach. Let's find out. And it does. Alright. And then this one. Uh, let's make sure this one reaches as well. Because we don't want it to not clock them all. That'd be bad. And it reaches to here. There we go. Okay. So we've got our decoder basically done. Um, I will go ahead and set this up so we can watch it happen. And... Alright, so binary systems. Uh, I showed you earlier while I was making it, but... God dang it. Um, just a moment. Be right back. Alright, sorry about that. Um, okay, so what we're doing here is we've got the decoder set up and it's all ready to go. I can have it address any location, but it's not going to do anything until I do this. So right now I have it set for three. So if we go like this, this one is going to be the only one that's powered because it's the only one of these that actually meets this condition of one, one, zero. So whenever this line is on, and this line is on, and this line is not on, it'll this one will not be powered whereas the rest of them are powered because none of the other ones meet those conditions. And that, in essence, is how a decoder works. So um, I'm going to go ahead and copy-paste this down so we can actually read what we're storing here. Um, perfect. And I don't think it... Haha, <laughs> perfect. Okay. So let me get rid of this right here. This is just an artifact from the RAM. We don't need this. And we've got a fully addressed RAM bank with six addresses. Now, 
what can we do with that? Let's go ahead and set up a few things here. And get some levers in here so we can uh, get the addressing going. And then um, let's put some information in. So um, obviously you wouldn't do this all manually. This is something you would do with a automated system, but uh, just to give you an idea of things. Let's go ahead and store a random value in... Let's put it in 5. No, oh, that's reading. Okay, so this is the read, and this is the write. So, store in 5. This needs to be a torch, or a lever. Not, a, not that. Button, sorry. Alright, so that should... Did it happen? Yes, it did. Okay, so that should store that value in there. So let's turn this off. And when we go to read from 5... There we go. We get the value. It's a little weak because the signal doesn't reach all the way, but, you know, it's there. Um, let's... Okay, so, um, cool. So let's go ahead and try another value. Uh, if we go like this, set it to 4. That's still reading. Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. Uh, did not think that one through. Let's do this instead. Yeah, excuse me, I'm, uh... Just full of fail today. Ah, oh, God, no! Stay. Okay, there we go. Okay, so, this address does not work. Even though it is selecting an address, there's nothing there. So let's say we store something in 4. Go like this. And we'll store a single value. And 4 is stored. There we go. So... Um, I mean, really, they're, they're very simple once you get to know how they work, if you understand them. Um, the best way to think about it is you've got each line has two states, an on and an off state, and the address that you want is going to be a combination of on and off states, you know, across the bits. I don't know if that's the best way to explain it, but that's, you know, the best way that I can come up with to think about it. So, um... I mean, it's, it's, the systems really, these are very essential. I mean, uh, any, any computer system is going to have them, but, um, you know, it is important to, to learn them. So I, I think it's, it's a good thing for me to show you guys these things. So, um, yeah, the, this is one of the most basic, one of the more basic, uh, decoder designs. It's really fast. Like I said, it's only one tick, uh, across the board for, you know, the changes and everything. Um, there are smaller designs. I believe there is one that uses uh, pistons. I don't like it as much because it's just it's taller and it's kind of tedious. But it is smaller because you can actually fit two lines directly next to each other. So um, you know you can you literally address two blocks right next to each other, which is really cool. Um, but you know, with this system, you don't really need that at all. So. Um, I think that should be it for today. Let's see. Yeah, that's broken. Let's fix that. And there we go. Okay. So yeah, I think that should be it for this video. Um, I didn't want to make it too long, but it looks like I'm already getting up towards 20 minutes. Um, I think next time what I'm going to do is show you guys... I don't know. I'll, I'll come up with something. It'll be cool. You guys will like it. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, subscribe. Uh, leave a comment, you know, comment suggestions. I'm always open for suggestions, so if there's something you guys don't know but you want to know, uh, let me know in the comments. Send me a message, and I will uh, get back to you. I try to reply to all the comments that I get. And, um, you know, if there's something you want to see, just let me know, and I'll, I'll you know, I'll look, I'll look it up. If it's not something that I already know, I'll learn it, and then I'll show you guys. Um, but, yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, peace.